This is Echo 3, and let's discuss how to make a Hiller VXT-8 Coolioptor style aircraft in Kerbal Space Program. This particular flying machine never got past the mock-up phase, but the French SNECMA C450 Coolioptor was test flown several times before it crashed. The VXT-8 had a unique bubble canopy that I am unable to easily reproduce in the game. I did have some success using some of my custom flags, but it took a lot of time to get that looking nice. So for this build, we shall go for a functional craft and you can add to it as you'd like. The docking port junior is an important piece because it will be the control point. The command chair will be pointed the wrong way. The Hiller version had the pilot lying down in level flight and standing during landing and takeoff. Notice that I am assigning an action group to change the control point because the game will default to the command chair. Our build will use the braking ground electric motors. This is why I'm using batteries on the front of the craft. I also placed a couple reaction wheels to help with roll control. The Hiller craft used a duct fan, so we will too. Setting up the motors and the propellers will be a critical step in having this craft function well. I'm flipping the motors so that they are facing forward. This means that the blades are now positioned incorrectly. I will need to spend some time making sure they are facing the correct way and rotated exactly as they should. Jets in this game can be far easier to use than propellers. You can see my propeller tutorial for the basics on how to do those. In the action group tab, I bound the COW 1000 to the throttle. The propeller deployment angle is bound to the COW controller so that the throttle will end up adjusting their pitch. I use the RCS action group to turn the motor power on and off. These action groups are not entirely necessary, but it ends up making my crafts easy to fly. So in the end, I end up reducing the motor power about 20%. The blades use a deployment angle between negative 2 degrees and 20 degrees. This does mean that I sacrifice some top end speed, but I gain more control during hovering. During the 1950s, Hiller also worked on his 1031A1 flying platform. It was to be a small craft that almost anyone could pilot simply by leaning in the direction you wanted to go. The US Army was very interested in VTOL craft at the time. If you are interested in making your own vertical takeoff and landing plane, I have a tutorial that covers some of the more well-known VTOL planes. With the Contra rotating fan blade set, we can put the finishing details on our craft. We need a command chair for Jebediah to pilot this contraption. And I'm setting it this way because the game doesn't have any kind of lying down uh, command chair option. We'll set on four wheels because this is similar to how the Hiller craft looked. And lastly, we'll need a source of power. I'm going to use a couple RTGs for this. The original was designed when the Soviets and the Americans were testing all kinds of nuclear projects. So it seems fitting to power ours this way. And I'm going to just position them here with a similar look to how the Hiller craft was. The last couple of things we need to do are to flip this craft vertical and to give it a name. I'm going to give Hiller the credit for this design. Then, we can take ours out for a test flight. We will change our control point to up. Turn on the SAS and press the RCS key to toggle the motor power. Then, we need to adjust our blade pitch to control our speed. Overall, this seems to be a fairly stable craft. This iteration is easier to fly than my first attempt, but it is still a little tricky. I don't think I would want to fly one of these in real life. I'm Echo 3, and thanks for joining me to discuss the Hiller VXT-8.